you joined the championship just at the start of the golden period for HRT, so you have a very good appreciation for the level of success that this team is known for. Yeah, certainly. I mean, when I joined the series in 98, HRT had just been winning everything through 96, 97. So you sort of grew up watching that. That was all happening while I was racing Formula Ford, so you knew it was happening. And then they won everything in 98, 99, and then I started giving them a run in 2000 at GRM, and we almost stole the championship off them. So having sort of grown up watching them succeed, and then watching him disappear out through your windscreen at the start of every race in 98, 99, and then battling it with Mark in particular in 2000. Um, you know, really that era when they were so dominant. Um, you know, it was interesting to watch them in action. They were certainly a very, very professional organisation and, and so much further ahead of everyone else on the, in pit lane at that stage. So, um, you know, they're certainly a very, very slick, slick team and a lot of success. And then being part of these sort of celebrations, the 21st birthday of the Holden Racing Team really brings home how special a place this is. So uh, it'd be fair to say that the heritage and success of this team is a key reason why you joined? Yeah, look, for sure. Growing up as a young guy watching uh, you know, Wynn Percy, Peter Brock, Craig Lowndes, all these sorts of guys, Greg Murphy come through this place um, you know, and all the success they had. And to be part of that now is amazing. And, and as well to get a, a win so early on in the relationship is great as well. Yeah, it's a fantastic day. 21 years from, um, from a humble beginnings to this, this magnificent outfit. Uh, the best touring car team probably ever. Was the 1992's 1000 the highlight for you with the team? 1990, yes. Yes, 1990 was a great year, you know. There was a small team. Um, in total for that year there was only eight of us full-time people. The team at Bathurst was made up of 30-odd people, but they were all, you know, people that come out and help and, you know, the wives would do all the food and, and all that. It was just a really great experience. It's not so much pressure that to, to succeed when you're at HRT. It's a, it's a level of expectation because everyone expects that, um, you know, you've got the biggest of everything, the best of everything, and certainly the series has moved on quite a bit since the late 90s, early 1000s, where the team was so successful, where, you know, the rules don't allow for so much technical innovation and you know there's not open tyres so you don't have a better tyre than everyone else so there's a lot there's a lot more of a level playing field the budgets are a lot more level nowadays so um, it's a very very tough series now so the people still have the same expectation as, as the late 90s but certainly that the goalposts are a little bit different now so um, you know it's it's tough having that but also you know driving for HRT it's a, it's a great honour as well.